you know, as we get older, we find that hair grows in places that we'd rather that it didn't, rather than the places that we wish that it did. And it grows in great profusion there. And to maintain a decent appearance in public, it's best for one to trim these unsightly patches of growth so that uh, people won't judge you by that, you know, that aspect of your appearance. Now, we'll find that the quickest growing hair is the nose hair. And sometimes it can spring up so rapidly that y you're not even aware that it's grown that, uh, that fast and that far until it's, it's quite out of hand. So it's a good idea to trim that nose hair occasionally. Now for that, I recommend a small pair of scissors and a mirror. One looks in the one looks in the mirror and just gives those nose hairs just a little trim. That's right. Keep them keep them straight and clean. There we go. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. You know, that's just about the closest you want to get if you don't want to cut any of the skin around your nose. Well, maybe a, a little shorter. Oh! Once you're done trimming them, look how much better. Well, I don't look that much better, but, you know, it's a better appearance and people won't judge you quite so harshly. Now, one thing that I, I do find is, is that as I'm getting older, uh, some of the hair on my body has decided to become white rather than the original dark or black color that it was before. And uh, and it's the same way with my nose hairs, as you can see. Now, for these babies, uh, conventional little scissors like this just aren't going to do the work because these are like iron. They they're they're stronger than steel. And for these, you're going to need some real work done on your nose hair. Ah ah ah. Well, I hope this has been of use to you, and tune in again next time for the next John O. Method.